Fulani, of course, is the most widely spoken um, language on the African continent, not Swahili, as many people uh, yes. think. Um, so we're going to get an African perspective. I am coming to the audience. I'm going to get an African perspective on gender equality. And um, I'm going to go to um, Your Excellency Bawamia first, and I will, I will come to Professor as well. Well, thank you very much. I think that the, the point is made uh, in, in Ghana, for example, you are close to about 52% of the population as female. Uh, and so that is the majority population. In the last, I mean, historically, the whole issue has been exclusion. And if you're going to get the type of development that you, you have to get, you definitely need inclusion. Uh, and, and therefore, you need to create gender equality. Um, one of the vehicles that we have used in Ghana, for example, in creating gender equality is in the area of education. What, one of the things that we saw was a high level of dropout of, of females when you got to the secondary level. And usually because of the cost of secondary education, uh, many parents were uh, unwilling to get, or unable to bear the cost of that education, and usually the females tended to suffer in, in the choice uh, matrix of whether you go, which of your children goes to school. And so when we came into office in 2017, we instituted a policy of free senior secondary education for all. And so we've done that for since 2017, and it has just been remarkable. You, you've had you know, hundreds of thousands of children who would otherwise not have had senior secondary school education now enrolled. But what is more important in this context is that you've had more girls enrolled than boys. And so whereas you had inequality or gender and parity within the, the school mix before, we now have virtual parity between boys and girls in secondary school enrollment. And, and that is very, very important uh, as you try to create a more gender, uh, I mean, um, parity, more gender parity in the society. I mean, recently, uh, that is last year, I think, one of our girls' schools won the World Robotics Competition beating out you know, countries such as Germany, South Korea, the United States. And, and we think that part of this is there's the opportunity, because some of those girls having the free senior high school education would not have had all of that. And we expect to see that happening. Another area of, of getting inclusion is in the area of financial inclusion. Um, when you look at the data, you tended to see that most of the people who did not have access to bank accounts were female. And so what we have done is introduce, um, because most of them have mobile accounts, and we've introduced mobile money interoperability, which makes the bank account interoperable with the mobile account. Uh, and so with that interoperability, I mean, most people now, over 90, about 90% 90 plus of the population, now have access to bank accounts. Mm. And that means more females mm. have access to bank accounts than before. Then you have the whole area of maternal mortality and how you bring down maternal mortality by making sure that especially in the rural areas, people, mothers who are giving birth have access to critical black blood supplies during birth. And, and all of that. Uh, Ghana, uh, following Rwanda, uh, has implemented a policy of drones to deliver medical supplies, vaccines, to very remote areas. And today, Ghana is the world's, the world's largest medical drone delivery. Uh, most people don't know that, but uh, that, is, that is where we are. And, and we have about six drone centers and each day, you have about 100 flights from each of the centers. And each flight is saving a life. And, and, and that is what, what you, you see in Ghana. Rwanda also has drones which are delivering uh, medical supplies. But this tells us, for me, that Africa can be in the lead. And the Caribbean can also, we can be in the lead when it comes to the technologies, you know, because we don't have legacy systems, and therefore we can really leapfrog 
uh, in many, many areas. And this is one area I think that we can all do that. But I think that the more we use technology to build an inclusive society, the more gender parity we create. And that is how we should proceed. Your Excellency Bamiya, thank you very much for that. Thank you.